What's up? It is, uh, I'm Ellis, and it is my distinct privilege and pleasure to be here with you on BTS Cypher Part 1. After this, we'll be doing Taman Under My Skin, and before this was, uh, I still know how to say it, Bubblegum, UL4, a Workaholic, EXO, Run Remix, Dreamcatcher, Deja Vu, Stray Kids, Awkward Science, all that just, that just came out, that just happened. Um, I'll be knocking out all four of these ciphers in the next day or so, so you might want to stick around. But again, directly after this will be taming under my skin. Now, a little introspection here. I say that I'm grateful. I say that gratitude is a good cure-all for anxiety and nervousness and anger and impatience. And I realized I wouldn't, I wouldn't live in that. I felt... I felt like I had gratitude, but I don't think it was in my actions, you know? So hopefully I can actually behave in a way that is grateful instead of just thinking in a way that's grateful. But now let's hear some rap. Uh, already I can hear the difference. I can hear how far RM's uh, wordplay has come. Wordplay, his rhyme scheme, his rhyme scheme is way more advanced than this is. I mean, this is intricate, but it's not masterful the way his later stuff is. Now I'm, now I'm psyched. Dude, it's nuts. It's nuts because it's good, but it's not, it's not the BTS that I know and love. Um, I dig it. I dig it because I love rap across like all decades. But this is, um, I went back and was digging around in mid 90s hip hop, uh, like Tribe Called Quest, and maybe some like early Nas and stuff like that. This reminds me of that, especially the beats. Hey, no, now I'm not a major, uh. Show painted a beat. He said, I'm show painting the beat, I'm chopping the beat. I'm the show painting the beat. Oh, right, because the piano, what? I am now, I'm, dude, I'm super excited to go through the rest of them because uh, I can relate this to guitar because, like, that's, that's my thing. Um, and when I was purely just competitive, using power and speed, it was reflected in what I attempted to do. And I feel that with this cypher that their power and technique is so strong, their presence is so strong, that they're relying on that 
as the delivery mechanism. Like I can, I'm, I'm faster, I'm more precise, uh, and I've got a little more volume to what I'm doing. Not volume as in like, volume as in amount, as in quantity. And somewhere along the, the way, I don't know when, we'll see if it's in part two or three or, you know, four, where they, they it seemed to have a click go off that like, once you can see they're already, they're already this good. And when you're already that good, you have that much power, right? That much presence, that much speed and technicality. You go, where do I go? Do I just go faster and more powerful? Because there's not that much more room to go faster and more powerful. You go, there's got to be another way to do this that is not relying on pure power and speed. Somewhere it clicked for him. And now I'm excited to see, see when that happened. What's up, cat? I'm about to say bye to these people. You want to say hi to them real quick? Shoot you to the K-pop cat. Um, I feel like I'm robbing y'all with like a short six minute thing. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you something. I don't think I've shared yet because it's brand new. Um, it's just personal anecdote. So if you're waiting for more K-pop, you know, personal anecdote, but this is what triggered the beginning reaction is, um, I had some friends who drove Uber on game days here and they claimed they were making like, like a thousand bucks in like a day, two days. I was like, man, uh, that's some pretty good money. So I, I bought a car, I already got a car, but I bought a car for Uber specifically last week. And I went out and did some practice runs with it just to make sure I got the app down and I know what's going on. And dude, he just woke me up. And it's like, dude, you, you teach guitar at university. Like, you, you've got all these things that you do that you don't really capitalize on hard. And now here you are driving, like not knocking anybody. And I'm still going to drive on game day to see what's up with that. Because if it is like, you know, five, six hundred bucks a day, that's something to do. You got to take advantage. But it's just like, oh, dude, I've been, I've been slacking. And if I was truly grateful of my opportunities, I'd be working a little bit harder. So hopefully that's what's going to transpire. We'll see. The problem, the problem with inspiration is that it wears off, like old Zig would say. And uh, so hopefully I can keep triggering this gratitude, this mental place. It's funny, man. It's funny. It's funny you start slipping sometimes. You take for granted. I do. I find myself taking things for granted that I don't think I do, but I do. So we go into Tayman. I'm going to go appreciate some Tayman. Appreciate y'all. Much love. 100%. I'll see you in the next one.